Okay, so in my last video, I show you how to easily set up a full body IK avatar in VR using the awesome Meta Movement SDK. You guys seem to enjoy this video a lot, so I decided to quickly make this update to show you another great feature of this SDK, which is adding interaction to the full body avatar. So in this video, we will quickly go over the setup and see all the avatar can be used with custom end pose and poke interaction. As always, a big shout out to my Patreon. They are the one making it possible for me to make these videos. And if like them, you want to get access to the source code of my project and exclusive content, like this tutorial on how to customize the end tracking, join us. The link is in the description. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's get started with our tutorial. This one should be quick. So anyway, we are where we were left at the end of last episode, where we made a full body IK with this uh, awesome ninja character that we've downloaded on Mixdemo. You can see that it has all of these components that we were able to set up fairly quickly. And now to use this character inside the interaction SDK, first we need to make sure that we have the interaction SDK. So in my case, if I go to Windows, Package Manager, as you can see, because I've downloaded the Meta XR all-in-one SDK, I have all of these packages and we can see that the Meta XR interaction SDK is indeed here. Now I'm going to click on samples and because I directly want to show you the result of using the interaction SDK with the movement SDK, I'm going to here import this example scene by clicking on the import button. There you go. Now, if we go to the samples folder, then to Meta XR interaction SDK, the version that we have, example scene and grab example. So if we double click on it, you can see that this is a scene that contains a no VR camera rig. So a camera rig for VR. And that has here the OVR interaction, which will add some interaction to the camera rig. Now, if we go down below, you can see that we have interaction for the controllers and for the ends, so for end tracking. And we can see down below that for each one, we have a list of interactors. So in this case, we can poke and we can grab. Now, the big question is, how can we use the Meta Movement SDK with this interaction? And you will see it is super simple. So the first step is to, of course, add back the character. So in my case, I have here this ninja model. And if you remember, we can simply drag it under the OVR camera rig. Now at this point, if you follow the steps on the previous tutorials, it is super quick to reset up this character. We can simply right click on it, then go to movement samples, body tracking, and click here on animation ringing, retargeting full body. And there you go. Now everything is set up. Now make sure that on the OVR manager, down below, you do have body tracking required. And then that for the body tracking fidelity, you have high and body tracking joint set to full body. There you go. Now, if it is the case, it means that the full body will work with this ninja model. Let me show you by clicking on play. And there you go. As you can see, the full body works. And even with end trackings, everything move. I have the arms and the whole body following my ends right now, which looks very, very cool. I can even show you a third person view so that you can have a better understanding at what's going on. And there you go. As you can see, everything works. The arms are falling, everything correctly, and even the finger eye are moving. But yes, even if the body follow here, as you can see, the interaction doesn't really follow. So for example, if I try to push on that button, you can see that we have the end model from Meta, which is staying on the surface of the button but the one from the avatar is not. And this is the case also for the different end pose. So as you can see, the end pose on the character are not being set while the one in hand tracking are. So let me show you how we can fix this. Let's first leave play mode and you will see it will be super quick. We need to go under the OVR interaction and there, as I've shown you before, we have the controller and the ends. And in my case, I'm going to select all of the left end synthetics. So the left one and the right one for the controllers. And then the left one and the right one for the end tracking. We are going to click on add component and I'm going to add a skeleton hand adjustment. So here you go. As you can see, we have nothing to do because the script will be directly set when we instantiate it. Now, the goal of the script will be to send some data to a skeleton, so basically to the character rig. Now that it's done, I'm going to select the left hand visual. There you go. And we can disable them because we will replace them with the hand from our character. Now, the next step, which is the final step already, is to select back our character 
and then under the retargeting layer, we can add a skeleton process aggregator. So this component will simply gather all of the end adjustment that we've previously added. So remember that we have four, so let's click four times here. There you go. And I'm going to add them by by clicking here on this little dot. Then we can select the left hand synthetic. Then it will be the OVR left hand synthetic. Then the right hand synthetic. And finally, the right hand synthetic. And there you go. Now everything is set up. We have skeleton processor for each one of the synthetic ends. And believe it or not, but it's already done. This is so amazing because as you can see, it was really, really, really simple. Now let me show you how this looks by clicking on play. And there you go. As you can see, we can only see the end model from the character now. But look at this. If we try to grab something, as you can see, it works. We can grab the object and the pose is working on the avatar as well. As you can see, this works really great for this mug, for example. And another great example is with this button. As you can see now, if we press on them, my finger stays at the surface and doesn't pass through. And there you go, that's basically it. This was a super quick tutorial, but now with this, you know how to use the Meta Movement SDK with the Interaction SDK. And I think the result is so cool. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, a big shout out to my Patreon, who are the one making it possible for me to make this video. Now, thank you for watching and see you very, very soon next year. Bye bye, guys.